New tonight, Sanding Ovations is back, transforming the beach into a giant sand masterpiece. Now, the free event in Treasure Island is one of the first major events to be held on Florida's shoreline since the COVID-19 pandemic, and that's helping local businesses rebound from the shutdown for the first time in months. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck joins us now from there. So, Sarah, I know business owners are telling you they're open and they are overjoyed, right? Yeah, that's right, Wendy and Jamison. Just two months ago, nobody even thought that this event would be possible. But tonight, there are these incredible sculptures, and families are out here looking at them, of course, at a safe distance from one another. Local leaders are on a mission to prove that they can host major events like this safely, keeping our local businesses alive. From a giant mastodon to the first round earth society meeting, there's plenty of art to ogle over at this year's Sand Innovation Sand Henge Festival. We just wanted people to come out here and laugh and smile. Marco Friedman can't help but smile. This is only he and his wife's second event since March and making ends meet hasn't been easy. A lot of shows have been canceled into this winter and there's a few open, but we know we're just gonna stick with it. Persevere. The festival, a second chance to rebound from the pandemic. Keeps us alive, keeps us going. It gives us a good sense that uh, there's a future. At the Belmar Beach Resort, rooms are 70% booked. We're just happy to be here. Crowds are a little lighter, but that's okay. Typically, Sanding Ovations brings in a $6 million economic impact over the four-day event. This year expected to be a little different, but it comes at a perfect time for businesses struggling to survive. It's very important that we, uh, you know, keep the businesses going and keep everything, uh, keep people employed. Event organizers hope to make Sanding Ovations an example for other festivals to follow. This year's event is cashless and there are Space Force volunteers making sure everyone keeps their distance. A mission made a lot easier since it's held on the widest beach on the west coast of Florida. The two messages we want to send is we're open, but we're open safely. Now there's also live music and fireworks to enjoy, but of course the biggest question, where can you park? Your best option is to take a $5 shuttle. It runs every 15 minutes from Treasure Bay and Paradise Lutheran Church. But just a beautiful night out here and people are really enjoying it and just happy to be back outside and having something to do. Reporting live here at Treasure Island at Sanding Ovations, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News. Does look beautiful. Thank you, Sarah. Here's your rebound rundown. The event runs from now until Sunday. It goes until 10 o'clock tonight and Saturday and until 6 p.m. on Sunday. Also, it's free. The sculptures will stay up on the beach behind the Billmar Beach Resort through January. And you can find more information on our website. Head over to abcactionnews.com.